Hi guys, welcome to another video with Cas on the Mesoma channel. And today I bring to you a triple piston extender that you can use as a, as a component to any of your projects that require this kind of triple extender. Uh, so, as you can see, it's compact and expandable. So, let's have a look. This is it, it extends out of the wall. Uh, and then retraction is also pretty fast. And yeah, there is a bunch of advantages uh, with this design. It's really good, uh, in my opinion, except for the redstone dust here. I would like to not have this, but if not, then I would have to have uh, redstone blocks right here, just like I had with my past design. Uh, so uh, the first advantage of this thing is uh, it starts extending as soon as it gets powered, just like this. You see the redstone dust here, it will immediately power the first piston, so it's really fast. And, well, as of uh, about the retraction, you guys can, can see for yourselves, it's really, really fast. If you watch how, how fast this block comes back here. So yeah, pretty decent. Um, what else? You can do a bunch of cool stuff with this. For example, if you have a block here, say, uh, I'm just trying to measure uh, where it is. This. So you can power something uh, remotely like this. But this thing will also respond to pulses. So let me grab my hotbar here. If you give it a four tick pulse uh, with a single repeater, you will be able to fully extend this thing and then fully retract. So it's very easy to use in your projects. And uh, now I have a little surprise. You can even use a tritic pulse here, and it will make uh, anything on the way spit its block. You can also power it from anywhere, like here, for example. Uh, let me grab a lever. I actually have an inventory with a lever, but <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's possible to use this for a trapdoor, but I'm not sure. Like a flush trapdoor. Let's see. So, yeah, it would extend the floor here and then properly retract it later. So uh, you could maybe use this as a fake quad. Uh, this is just one experiment. So one, two, three, four, and let's just power it somehow. Like, like here, for example, and if you if you'd have a mob at this position or at any position here, for example, it would work as a fake quad if you place a piston here. Of course, you could you would expand this. I'm just demonstrating here. So, if you extend it long, for long enough, it will give it will give a extra push here. So, and then you can retract it with no consequences. So yeah, uh, it's supposed to be a component to your project. So if it's useful to you. Yeah, I'm going to do a tutorial now. Uh, you, can, you guys can pretty much see what what is all about. I'm just going to tell you uh, one tip that makes it a little bit easier to build. Okay, say we want to build the triples in this direction. So the first thing to do is to start placing a line uh, of observer blocks facing down. Then you want to get rid of this line here in the middle and place the redstone only for those lines here and then you can place repeaters on top of those already because otherwise they will start firing okay so now uh, we can take care of the, the bottom so yeah you probably don't need all of those lines because uh, yeah I, I will mention it later I think <laughs> if I can place those blocks here I think I I'm off by, by one here yes I am okay so here those need to be facing down like this and those repeaters, uh, they need to be like this for two and two because if you don't do if you don't do it, uh, they won't respond to uh, two tick pulses, two, four tick pulses. I mean, uh, and then here I use hoppers just because I don't like the clicking of droppers, but droppers will be uh, cheaper to use here. And finally here, just some observer blocks and solid blocks go here. Okay, now the, the, the reason why we left this like this is because if you're going to build this in survival, you're going to need that space here to place the block. So you're, you're going to need to find a way to place the blocks like this and then you can, uh, yeah, you can use those as support because otherwise it will be impossible to place them. So yeah, figure out this could be useful.
Okay, finally, uh, choose where you want your input to be. In my case, I think I'm going to have my input there, so uh, I can place a liver here or whatever powers this, a repeater or doesn't matter. Uh, redstone block, and here you can place redstone dust and expand it uh, to expand it to as far as you want. So finally, you can place this line and then place your triples inside. And extension is fine. And this is the retraction. So notice that we have to wait for this last repeater to turn on. But that's, that shouldn't take more than four ticks, as I showed you uh, before, uh, which is weird because, <laughs> because of reasons. But yeah, guys, this is the triple piston extender. Expandable, super easy to control, many functionalities in one. And yeah, hope this is useful to you. If not, let's make a party together and dance. All right, so thank you very much for watching and see you next time, guys. Bye.